Hello YouTube, my name is Shara, PC Drain Gaming, and welcome to episode 41 of our Persona for Golden Let's Play. So today we are apparently heading to... Uh, what was it called again? Well, anyway, we're going on a school trip, so it seems we can't even go out. So let's get ready for that. Thursday. School trip day. Oh yeah, Tatsumi Port Island for three days and two nights. Dang, do the Japanese really have this many school trips? That's amazing. Kikokan High School in front of the entrance. Wow, what's up with this place? This school's way too big. <laughs> what hell is that man? He looks so funny. Wait, if we can't beat him on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. All right. <sighs> Is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <clears throat> Our school is closed today, but uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. I like their uniform. Thank you, Principal. Oh, dang, she's so pretty. Hello. Welcome to Gecko Khan High School. Uh, hello. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gecko Khan. Can, 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 can we date her? Um, no, probably not, but damn. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, no, way out of your league, Yosuke. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. And out of your league as well, Kanji. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. Oh, come on. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. Thank you, thank you. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. No, thank you. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. What is it? Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? What's up? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? Oh, why me? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. You're doing a great job. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men, too. Oh, really? In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. I love your ribbon. Your uniform looks really good. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Alright, so we need to get to the second floor. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Yeah, we knew that, right? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture is about Kabbalah. What the hell even is that? Kaba what? You don't know? It's a casino. Really? So, 
When's our free period? Never. Uh, ooh, we don't get one. Oh, really? None? We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. Oh, well, that's not too bad, right? You gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. How wise of you, Yukiko. <laughs> Welcome, nice to meet you all. The meeting is only the beginning stage of parting, the Alpha and the Omega. My name is Edogawa, and I'll be keeping you company for this period. You are all from Yasukama Ai, ah, high school of many gods. I'd consider the lecture on Kabbalah philosophy, but I have a better idea. <laughs> Since I was able to meet you all today, I shall tell you a story of partings. What the hell is this classroom? It looks great. One could say that this is Japan's oldest tale of curses. You all know about the gods who created this country, I assume? The two gods who gave birth to this country are the god Izanagi and the goddess Izanami. They get along very well, but one day Izanami died when giving birth to Kaguchuki, the fire god. Externally saddened by this, Izanagi left for the land of the dead to bring back Izanami. Yomi, the dark, dark underworld. There, Izanagi asked Izanami, who had become a dweller in the land of shadows, to come back with him to the land above. The goddess replied by saying the, she would negotiate with the god of the underworld and ask Izanagi to wait for her. However, Izanagi became curious to know what was going on, so he broke his promise and set his comb light to look around. What he saw was the goddess Izanami, whose body was completely covered in filth and maggots. Terrified, Izanagi ran away, but the erased Izanami chased after him. After dodging the many demons sent after him, Izanagi reached the entrance of the underworld, Yomotsu Hirasaka. He set in place a large builder as a barrier between the two worlds and got away unharmed. When the dreadful goddess reached the builder, he said his farewell to her. This is the curse known as Kotodo. Curses beget curses and Izanami said to the gods, If you are going to treat me this way, I will kill a thousand humans in your world each day. Izanagi regretfully accepted that the bonds between them were severed, saying, Then I shall give life to 1500 each day. A thousand die and ten thousands are born. That is the curse upon this country. Many of you may have already known this famous story. Oh, interesting. Now the etymology. The names Izanagi and Izanami come from the word Izanao, which means to invite. I'd be delighted if you have accepted this story today as an invitation to acquiring knowledge. It reminds me, in the olden days, people took this story seriously. Things such as light, lighting only one fire at night and throwing combs were taboo. By the way, at Hana no Iwaya, the grave where Izanami is said to have descended to the underworld, to this day people decorated with flowers when the old festivals nearby. It may be merely ceremonial, but everyone wants it to look beautiful. It's how they show their consideration to the goddess who may feel that way. <laughs> Ah, is our time up already? I may have gone on too long. <laughs> Alright, bye, sir. You somehow survived a long lecture during the trip. Evening. Later that night in front of the hotel. Oh, whoa. That looks kind of fancy. Alrighty, here we are. The seaside clamshell inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? A wave of agitation seems to be straying through the group. So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. Um, then I don't really trust it. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. Um... We're staying here? The sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. A <laughs> love hotel. Oh, uh, no. Isn't there something funny about this place? Yeah, probably. Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, 
Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... Look at her blushing! That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. Teddy. This is quite the hotel. Oh, no. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Uh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Between the cats? <laughs> Oh, why? Teddy, what are you doing here? How did you even get here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. Ugh, if only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Nah, I took the train. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Junas. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. When did she promise it? I don't even remember. Uh, good job, Teddy. D did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! So it did happen. You remembered, Chie-chan. Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan too? Let's all go together then. Is that alright with you? Hmm... It's a deal. All right, she escaped there. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping. That sounds great. <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just going to go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Oh, yeah, he can't sleep in the hotel. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Come on, train rides are fun. Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Oh, <gasps> crap! What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? Look, he's all still. Uh, I made it today in class. My, you must have some nimble fingers. <laughs> oh, no. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. Ah, shit. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Jesus. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. Alright, good night. Let's take Teddy with us. In any event, you have to do something by Teddy. Hello? Teddy's doing his best to act like a stuffed animal. On this farm, maybe Teddy's way of showing you how much he genuinely likes you all. He's in steady, strong trust. Oh, cool. Rank 5. Teddy's determination in battle has been enhanced. I gotta pee. Jesus. <laughs> Let's roll him inside. Friday. Day two of the school trip. In the afternoon, you toured the Sumiport Island, and at night, pa Paulonia Mall Club Escapade.
Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! Alright, you're gonna go dancing? There's nothing like this back home. Oh! Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? Um, you are too? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. Very true. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Above board? Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. So you're staying now? Well, you're free now, right? There go all of your excuses. I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Are you shy? Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry, I think I can pull some strings. Oh, you go, Rize. <sighs> oh, shit, this again? What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Rize reserved the second floor and you all made a toast. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was cancelled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. Cool. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either. Dude, you sound even weirder today. He always sounds weird. Oh! You're so cold, Kanji. Mm. Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> That's a great one. Is he drunk? Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yukiko. Conjecture? <laughs> Her face! Her face! Uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non alcoholic. Reese, <laughs> your face! Mm, I told them. Really, I did. Really! Uh huh. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells. King's game! And look at her face. <laughs> she looks so disturbed. <laughs> Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <gasps> the law? What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Probably not. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What? Why me? Where are you gonna get chopsticks from? The king's word is law! Chop chop! It's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? I don't think I know it. Okay, one chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Jesus, Yukiko. 
But that sounds really fun. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Y Yukiko? Where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw! Which the could you draw? Let's draw the far one. You drew a stick? It says number one. Ah, dang it. Okay, so... Who's the king? Oh no. Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Oh shit. <sighs> We're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay! Oh, but you're gonna pick a number, aren't you? Smooch! Smooch! Please, God, grant me a girl. Number one! Oh no, that's us. <laughs> number one? I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! No! A bear's chastity! True love needs a sacrifice just for you, Sensei Teddy. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Hey, not me! Kanji! Why Kanji? Oh, only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. Huh? Is it that kind of game? I don't think it was. On to round two! You must be very careful here. Which stick should you draw? Let's draw the far one again. You drew a stick. There's a red mark on it. You're the king. Yes. Who's the king? Ooh. Phew. Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. Yeah, you can forget about that. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. More extreme? T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. How is that more extreme than a kiss? Nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. A hug? Are you kidding me? Better than that. A piggyback ride. Oh boy. We're just lost. Come on, king, who's gonna do what? Yeah, I can choose. Everyone is staring at you. What will your orders be? Uh number two sits on my lap. Huh? Number two? Oh shit, it's GA. The king's order is Oh boy. Come on, you gotta sit closer up. You are sitting on his hand. Yukiko, quiet! She is cringing with embarrassment. <laughs> Me next! Me! I am the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick. Hey, you don't get to decide. Alright then, let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Oh god, drunk Yukiko, you're terrible. Hmm, let's see... Oh, no, Tokun, I choose you! She's breaking all the rules, just ignore her, Naoto. No, no, that won't be necessary. What are you going to tell us, then? One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. All right. Okay. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? Your life? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn. Way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Yeah, I guess that was a thing way back. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police. 
and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. Oh, so you live with your grandfather. Yeah, you did mention something like that before. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. Yeah. That's so embarrassing. Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? How even, Yukiko? How? I want to go home. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Oh, she's falling asleep. Well then, it's your turn now. A straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? Bro, you can just ask that. You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. Alright, Yukiko. You go! What the hell are you doing? And then we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! <sighs> are you making fun of me? Yeah, let's keep it at that. It's true! Persona! God, she's drunk. Jeez, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. Oh no, don't feel bad. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Wait, what? Good one, Naoto! No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Yeah, probably. And Yukiko's very drunk off the atmosphere. And so is Rise. Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! And she's slipping too. Hey, senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Uh, yeah, kind of. Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. Let's go home. <sighs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Uh, just let them believe in their dreams. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Yes. Yes, they are. Let's not have the school trip drifts on. And what a bad night it was. Saturday! The third day of the school trip. Shopping district in front of the station. Hagakure Ramen. Mm, oh man, this is really something! This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. I wonder, how the hell is Teddy even eating like that? Mm -hmm. You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Did you just block it out? Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Ooh, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Hard? Why? Uh, who are you? Um, I'll have the Haga Curry Bowl. The Haga Curry Bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Why not? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. So people don't even recognize you? Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. That also makes sense. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. 
Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? Oh, did he eat it? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. Oh, yes, you can. You little liar. Give me that check. Let's see here. Who's going to pay for all of this? One, two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I was going to finish mine. Aw, oh, you can just order another one, right? There, there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. We only had a class one day, right? So it wasn't that bad. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. Oh yeah, good idea. Uh, let's get her a t-shirt. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo, hey, Ted. Is he acting like a stuffed animal again? Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. Why? D dude, hey, he ain't moving. Is something wrong? I is he hibernating? Oh shit. Hey, don't, don't don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious, Teddy? <laughs> Oh, come on. My tummy's heavy. You idiot. Leave it behind. Yeah, let's. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. Forget about it. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Oh, so you're just going on without us? Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. Oh, we're all going, all right. <laughs> can't move and i don't have the money for a return ticket but you can't come with us just some weird bear in our how do we get here with the bus farewell teddy goodbye we shall leave you here along with our memories of youth see ya you had it to the rendezvous point to head back home all the days of the school trip pass by safely. That's good. Evening. Ah. We're back. Welcome home. Thank you. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. It was great. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, right? I've seen it on TV. There are tall buildings and a bunch of people and an ocean and stores. Yeah. Now that goes as excited as she was the one who went. You remember that you bought a souvenir for Nanako. Wow, thanks. Open it up. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, you don't like it? Nanako thanked you out of modesty. Oh, I thought you would have liked the shirt. Oh shit. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! We should have got Tojima something as well. Hey, nice! Did you remember to thank him? Yes, out of modesty. Of course! And bye. Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. Sure. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. It was fine. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Yep. You talk to him much? Uh, I guess so, yeah. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. Will do. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Ujima has a kind look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? 
Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Don't worry about it. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Ah, oh, thank you. Sunday. The school trip is over and it's a peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing of note happened while you were away. What did you do today? A peaceful day, huh? Alright guys, I am going to end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.